hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another ghostbusters review and boy do we have a doozy for today yes we have the ghostbusters plasma series the family that busts together two pack and this one includes phoebe spengler and of course the spectral version of our most favorite scientist egon spengler so yeah i just got this in today i wanted to get it out to you quickly because it's a fantastic set. I haven't even had it out of the box yet, and I can already say it's a fantastic set. So, before I get too overexcited, let's have a look at the packaging. And we are sticking with the new Plasma Series packaging, which kind of sort of resembles the flight suit. Um, it's got all the usual warnings on the stuff, Ghostbusters, yada, yada, yada. Nice big uh, No Ghost logo here in the bottom left-hand corner. And the two figures are packaged beautifully in this set they've not tried to pose them at all which i'm always thankful for i, I don't really care for posed figures they're just in there nice and relaxed and you can see what they come with and this uh, this egon already looks brilliant in the box so what's on this side nice oh that's lovely sort of nice I don't know what you call this kind of artwork, sorry, I'm not really into art, but it, it just, it looks gorgeous. And on the back you've got a, that's a fantastic recreation from that bit in the film. Um, and you've got some, well you've got a very short bio here, but yeah this looks, I'm going to have to see if I can pull this pose off. And there's nothing really on that side. Just the usual warnings on the bottom, and there's nothing on the top. So, right, let's get this open and we'll take a close look at the figures. Right, so here's Egon and Phoebe out of their box. And, yeah, they, they are really nice looking figures. But I want to talk about the accessories first. Um, before I talk about those, though, I do just want to point out the really nice backing that was in the box. I think this is pretty cool because you've got some of the stuff that were... You know, was in Egon's farmhouse. So obviously you've got the proton pack there. You've got the uh, the new trap parts. Um, it, all the stuff that's in the film. I can't remember what these are called now. I, I like the little jar of fungus. Uh, just, a, just a few little bits on there, which I thought was quite nice. So. Oh, I've got goose over. I'll get that. So let's have a look at what they come with. And... Um, I'm going to address this head in a minute. I'm just going to put it off to the side. I'm going to come back to that. So what else do we get? Well, we get a nice little jar of fungus as seen on that backing card. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like how it looks all misty in there, you know, like it's all damp. That's quite nice. I don't think you can get the top off. I don't think it... No, it's moulded. But yeah, it's pretty cool. That's quite nice. Something I can put on the shelf. So you get one of those. Um, you get <laughs> you get the you get the tiniest knight I have ever seen. <laughs> it's minuscule. It's so so tiny, but it's it's pretty well detailed given how small it is. So you get that. So uh, if you have a, a chessboard that's got you know thirty one pieces and you're missing a knight, then um, yeah, you're golden because you can use this. <laughs> uh, you get the new PKE Shocker, which is pretty cool because we see Egon using that. Uh, that's quite nice and it's well detailed. I mean, just, you know, like the others. Um, now, I, I should mention that I reviewed the first wave of plasma series figures over on fingers on plastic i have not bought the second wave yet i i do want to get them but it's been so heavy with other stuff for me at the minute i just haven't got round to it but i'll leave a link below for the wave one reviews if you'd like to see them they're not that good actually because it was when i was first starting out reviewing and i'm a little bit nervous and stuff so but if you want to see them we get a nice proton pack and this is how you see it when Phoebe's trying to repair it. There's some nice detailing going on there. I don't think it's much different from the Wave 1 
ones. Um, I don't know, I don't have those to hand, so I can't check. But it looks good anyway. And it just fixes on the same way. I'll do this in a minute, but it just pegs on there. But it looks pretty good. I like that you can take the uh, you take the, the out a bit off so you get a look at the cyclotron. That's pretty cool. But this bit does come separately. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened here. <laughs> it's like they ran out of paint. But hey, it doesn't really matter. There's a bit of silver on there. A bit of red there. And this piece just plugs in to there if you want to have that covered just like a normal proton pack and there you go that's pretty nice and you get the neutrona wand and obviously this is the spengler neutrona wand so it is slightly updated it looks pretty good given the size got the wrapping on the handle there that, uh, that just plugs into the into the side into the bottom of the proton pack there Ooh, focus there we go that just goes in there so we'll get phoebe holding that shortly and you do get this really nice plasma stream And it's just done in the same soft material that the other plasma streams are. But it looks really nice. I like the I like the purple. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, so those are the accessories. Alright, so as I said, I wanted to come back to this terror dog head. Now, also on the Fingers on Plastic channel, I reviewed the uh, what is it called? Terror. Oh, the Lewis Tully pack. You got Lewis and you got a terror dog. And I was not very happy with that set for a few reasons. But my main problem with it was that we got Vince again. So we got Vin Sorry. Yes, no, we got Vince again. We got Vince Clortho as the builder figure terror dog in the Wave 1 figures. And then we got Vince again in that 2 pack. And I was really upset by that because that two pack was expensive. Um, but I have to say, and I did not know this when I bought this pack, but just taking this pack out of, sorry, just taking this piece out of the packaging, they have provided us with a Zool head sculpt for that terror dog. Well, for either terror dog, it doesn't really matter. They're exactly the same. And for those of you wondering how I know this, uh -huh, it's because I'm a Ghostbusters fan. Uh, yes, well, the difference between the two terror dogs is this. Zool has short horns and Vince has long horns. Diamond Select did this uh, by packing in both sets of horns because the main body is exactly the same. It's just the horns that are different. Uh, but obviously it looks like Hasbro have decided to give us an entirely new head sculpt. So I have got a... I've got to say thank you, Hasbro, for doing this. That definitely puts that mistake right. Um, I have to sort the tooth out of mine, but otherwise, yeah. But it looks pretty good. And I'm I'm glad that, that I now have both Terra dogs. So, yeah, well done. Thumbs up there, Hasbro. Good on you. So, right, now I have spoken about that. Let's get to the figures. Let's start off with Phoebe. And... This looks like McKenna Grace. It looks like the actress who played Phoebe. And yeah, it's really nicely done. Very good head sculpt, I think. And obviously she is wearing Egon's flight suit. So it's got Spengler on there. And it is, it is way too big for her. <laughs> it's just far too big. Uh, yeah, it's... Um, it does look really good. I think the uh, the pockets here have been broken up a bit by yeah, being on the knee joints, but yeah, like I said, it's too big for her, isn't it? So, so yeah, it's got the turn ups at the bottom there. Yeah, 
there you can see where it's all sort of baggy on her back here as well which I think is uh, is pretty cool I like the way they've done this because we were all going why have we not got a why have we not got a Phoebe figure in the in the last wave and obviously now we know because it was coming with this amazing Egon figure so yeah so let's see if we can get in closer on that head sculpt there you go the hair's done really nicely you know it does look like it's got some movement to it yeah it's really good it's funny you know because um in the interviews that i've seen with the with the actress she looks completely different you wouldn't know it was the same person but yeah i think that's done really well the glasses are painted nicely also so yeah so articulation wise she's she's pretty she's pretty much got the same articulation as all of the first wave of figures so her head is on a ball joint so you get a decent range of movement her arms will go all the way around up and down joint at the elbow and rotation at the wrists she's got a ball joint in her waist legs that far forwards can't really go back very far out to the side rotation at the thigh double jointed knee and that's where it stops I tried to get her feet to move and they just don't they are they're not sculpted in but there's there's no movement on them uh, which is a little bit of a problem getting her to stand because they're not they're not really in the same place this one seems to be pointed up slightly so I've had some difficulty getting her to stand um, she's okay now but you have to sort of balance her slightly And now I'm going to put the proton pack on her, so she's going to fall over backwards, I imagine. So, right, let's have a look at this proton pack then. So, it works the same way as the first series figures. So, you basically, you're just putting an arm, oops, an arm through there. Wanna just bring it over her head and down to here and then just come around to the side and just pop that back on and obviously this is far too big for her <laughs> so uh, we're gonna have to wiggle that oops pop that piece off gonna have to, let's let's bring that down a bit and then do it up there we go yeah there we go that's about it i think so it's sort of yeah it's sitting a bit too low on her obviously but, I mean, you know, it's on. And then let's see if we can get her holding the Neutrona wand. There's one hand. What do we reckon? Is it going to go? Is it going to go? Ooh, it's going to be tight. I'll about do it yeah now I'm gonna have trouble step no yep no yep yep are you gonna stand no <laughs> oh I had a I had a balanced for like a fraction of a second no okay she's not gonna stand with that proton pack on um that's a shame uh, you can see what I mean. Uh, maybe you can see what I mean. If you look at the feet, see the the left foot is is not in the right place. You need to you need to fiddle around with the joints. I'm not going to do this all day because that would be boring. Oh, she's standing. She's standing. Right. Okay. While well, she's standing, let's have a look at Egon because I'm just going to move her over there anyway. Because really, I think this is what most collectors are buying this set for. Uh, that part, this part in the film, yeah, I did not keep it together. 
I knew that they were going to get Egon in it some way, but I was not expecting... I was not expecting this, I will be honest, and it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Because I've been a Ghostbusters fan since I was 13 years old. And it was, it was hard, it was hard losing Harold Ramis. And this, oh man. Anyway, let's have a look. I mean, this does this this does look like Harold from the film, the the, the CGI model. It's it's amazing. It it's it's yeah. I just I I don't really have words for it. <laughs> I I love the way they've done it. I, I love I love how um, spectral he looks, but that they've painted his face because I thought the face as well was going to be this translucent purple and it, it is around the back and they've just sort of they've just sort of painted the the face on there so yeah it it looks like Harold Ramis it looks like the the last time I saw him anyway so yeah and he is wearing a flight suit although it is very spectral obviously and he does still have Spengler written there uh, yeah, he's got his utility belt there, and he does have all the accessories. So he's got the radiate, radiator, duh. he's got the radio there, he's got a little hook for the PKE meter. Um, oh, I forget what this thing is called. He's got all the hoses and everything. So yeah, he's got everything on the belt there. Uh, it's just, it's just spectral. Spectral boots, and it's, it's beautifully done it is absolutely gorgeous and this thing sold out like i mean i got mine from star action figures and i ordered it as soon as it went live because i was not going to miss out on this and i went back an hour later and it, it had gone and it had gone on hasbro pulse as well so it went really quickly so i am so glad that i managed to get one uh, now, the articulation for Egon is pretty much the same as Phoebe, so I'm not going to go through it all. Um, but the slight differences are he does have he does have some movement here at his wrists. And he does have the, uh, the tilt for the feet. And that's the same as the rest of the plasma figures. Uh, plasma series figures rather so yeah um i love it i love it um i'd love to know you know what harold would think of all this obviously we'll never know but i hope that he's happy about the way he was treated in the film because from a fan standpoint i think he was treated very well so there we go that is the <laughs> stand phoebe please stand for this last bit please You've got to stand for like a minute more gil that's a, that's a shame come on all right i'm just gonna i'm just gonna hold her i'm just gonna hold her so that is it for this look at the family that busts together two pack um if you can find one now, if you didn't manage to get one, if you can find one now, I would 100% gar uh, guarantee what is wrong with me tonight. <laughs> I would 100% recommend this two pack to you. It it finishes off both teams basically, the new team and the old team. Um, and the the reason I held off on getting the other three older Ghostbusters was because I didn't want. I didn't I didn't want to not have an Egon figure. So now that I have an Egon figure, I will be getting those other three. But yeah, oh uh, before I go actually I should just point out that the Egon can also wear the Proton Pack because he does have the hole in his back. So yeah, if you did want him to wear the Proton Pack, you could absolutely do that. So I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. Um yeah, I love this set, absolutely. Yes! <laughs> Stoked that I got it and absolutely worth every penny of the money I paid for it. And getting the, the Zool head as well, that was an added bonus I was not expecting. So, as always, thanks for watching, take care of yourselves and bye for now. 
Yeah, see, you thought you'd got rid of me, didn't you? But no, I'm back. Yeah, so I was talking about the uh, the terror dog heads, and I thought, you know what? I'll go dig the other one out. And I thankfully it wasn't as deep in as I thought it was to my uh, my stack of boxes. So I thought we'd have a look and do the comparison of the two heads. So on the left is the Vince head that we got in the Builder figure and on the right is the new Zool head. So you can see what I was saying there about the horn length. So yeah, this is uh, this is really good. My only issue with with the new head is it doesn't seem to be finished as well. You can see on the new head there's some mold lines down the side of the face here that's not there on this one. So that's a bit of a shame, uh, and it's not as doesn't have the same amount of shine. But otherwise, um, oh, the eyes are slightly different reds as well. But given this came out at the beginning of 20... Uh, when, when did this come out? About mid-2020 this one, didn't it? So, given the time period, it's it's not, it's not a huge issue. So let's see if we can just pop these straight over. Should be, should be able to because, you know, it's the Builder figure. Um, oh, great. Oh! Sorry, couldn't do that in the counter camera because it was... Uh, that bubble joint was stuck right in so let's get this uh, is this going to go in or am I going to need to heat it up no it's going it's going there we go there we go ah come on hold on a sec It does go, it just needs a bit more welly. Oh, I've put a hole in my thing. Darn it. So there we go, that's what it looks like with the Zool head on. Yeah, it looks alright. That looks okay. They've they've managed to they've managed to match the colour down the back of the terror duck, so that's pretty good. Um, I think the I think the ball socket could stand to be a little deeper because it does seem to be sitting not quite right. No matter where you do it, sort of get a bit of a hole going on, a bit of a gap. But that might be me. I might need to sort that out. But yeah, there you go. That's uh, that is a terror dog with the Zool head on. And um, yeah, I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. That looks pretty good. And quickly, before I leave you properly this time, let me just stuff on the floor again. Let's have a quick look at these proton packs. Thought might as well do that while I was in the box. So we've got this is Phoebe holding the new one, and this is the old one, which Egon is sporting for us. So I think it is the same mould don't think there's any differences in the mold it's just the paint yeah it's it's the same mold but then that was expected to be honest so there's that and uh, this is Egon just move the camera this is the first wave Egon and there's the new one so you can see how they've changed the uh, the sculpting on him and yeah, I mean it's quite a bit different. They probably went from the same base but they've, they've definitely made him obviously a lot older here. And uh, they have given him a bit of a tum, which would be about right. So that's it, I think I've covered everything now. So I am going this time. <laughs> put them there, just, just put them there. Yeah, I am going this time, as always. Yeah, you've done, I've done all that. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.